They treat inmates like beasts. This was the written statement by 39-year-old inmate Michael Lewis, who was one of the survivors of the fire that claimed the lives of 17 men in Capital A Division on March 3rd. This Tuesday morning, he explained to the commissioners what he meant by those words. Some of the officers, this is how they treat the inmate. For instance, like if you feel in pain or you have a problem, and like if you want to see the chief, and you told the officer what walking by the door, or I sick or I want to go to the infirmary, all the officers will tell you, hold on. When you hold on, sometimes the day pass and gone, you speak to, sometimes the train shift, you speak to another officer, you see one there, the other officer will tell you to hold on. And the only way you might get a chance to see the door, see the chief, is if you get something and you start to bang on the dormitory door. Then the chief would acknowledge there's a confusion starting within the location, then the chief would come himself and ask where is the problem. Then you would be able to relate your problem to the chief, and then the chief would give the officer the record of. And only then you would get to speak out or get to go to the infirmary. Later, Lewis gave another accusation of ill treatment when he was cross-examined by the counsel for the GPS. Lewis insisted that most of their requests regularly go unanswered, including many of his own. You haven't had any officers who have dealt promptly and efficiently with your request? No, sir. How many requests have you made um, since you've been at Camp Street Prison in the two years? So over hundreds of requests, sir. Excuse me? Over hundreds of requests, sir. You make requests for family visits? Yes, and you've sir. had your family visits when you request them? I never had one within up to now, sir. Excuse me? I never get a family visit up to now, sir. Thus far, each inmate has described a series of injustices that have been levied by them against the prison guards. As the commission of inquiry continues into the second week, it is evident that someone must be held accountable for the incident that occurred at Camp Street Prison. Yes, yeah, so sir. Didn't assist the words. Then after I came out of bed then, when the fire came out, when the fire was completely finished, I walked out of the building. I was caught to see the officer watch me like if it was a miracle. The man seen me back up himself. So when I walked out of the door, I didn't expect nobody. It was already too dead, but the one who can't walk. So like the prisoners, them already pulled out the building. And I walked out of the building. So I know our office or them even coming because they could have come in capital B. Guys are very, like I said, on a whole ways, but five feet by three feet. Where they could have sprayed water into the building. And they didn't even make no attempt. So they do nothing for the prisoners themselves. So.